So this is going to be me talking about my experience as an engineer at SpaceX for about 10 minutes and kind of some things um, surrounding that, I guess. So, uh, yeah, I don't know. Maybe this will help someone. This will inspire someone. Maybe this will uh, help my future self. I can just look back and kind of see where I am now, see where I was then in a... Uh, in a video log format, talk to my younger self, if you will, and kind of what I'm thinking. But um, yeah, I don't know, maybe this will at least be entertaining for someone. So just some background, I'm 22 years old. I graduated from the University of Connecticut with a degree in mechanical engineering. And I am currently working at Starbase in Texas on the Starship program, and I am living in Brownsville, which is the closest city where most, I'd say most people that work at SpaceX in Texas, in uh, at Starbase live. And so it's like a, it's Starbase is at like a, on a peninsula, so you have a, you basically take a shuttle in, it's quite nice. So, so yeah, I've been working here for, five almost six months and it's quite it's quite an experience it's um definitely a once in a lifetime experience that you'll like i've never seen this anywhere um and yeah i guess uh, so i was my whole my whole journey started when i was um ex like uh, i was interviewed and um like hired, I guess, last November, or last, last November, so 2023, November of 2023. And then I waited a whole almost a year until late August, early September to start. Uh, and then, and then, um, yeah, I've been working ever since. I do fluid systems engineering. And uh, yeah, it's quite, it's quite, it's quite fun. A lot of work. And so I've always, I've always had a propensity towards entrepreneurship and kind of starting my own thing and going my own way, blazing my own path. And um, yeah, I don't know if it's an arrogance or if it's a uh, inability to rely on others' decisions. I'm not sure, but it's always been there. <laughs> so we work with what we got and um, yeah, so all throughout high school, not high school, but yeah, also throughout college, I was working on a startup, kind of, it was a research project that evolved into a startup, and um, it's quite interesting. I think that's what actually got me into SpaceX almost exclusively. That's what was talked about in all of my interviews, and uh, I assume that's what impressed the, uh, you know, the, the members of my team that interviewed me throughout the, the process. And what's kind of interesting about my experience with SpaceX is that I've actually, um, I, I still work on the startup and that's through pivots and all its trials alongside of a normal SpaceX workload. So I'm, I'm quite lucky my team doesn't, um, doesn't work as hard as some other teams that are more critical path that um, production or uh, like specifically launches rely on so it's kind of like hurry up and wait teams where once they once they get a well there's never any waiting I guess but it's always so it's only, it's only a layer hurry up but um but once the say ship is ready to go they have to they have to run and pull all-nighters and go hot wild so luckily uh, I primarily work on ground support equipment GSC so that kind of sidesteps that issue which is quite nice I would recommend <laughs> and you get to learn all about the other stuff too <laughs> so so yeah so I, I work my 60 hours roughly a week and then I have logged like on a stopwatch I have around 20 hours a week for the past many weeks so this is kind of a groove that I've settled into it seems to work well 
and um, and yeah, it's quite it's quite hard. It's quite hard. <laughs> so I work, um, you know, I work Monday through Friday. I rarely work weekends at SpaceX, thankfully, and then I um, I try to work if I can two hours a day. It's very hard with uh, my startup and really the weekends that's when I hunker down in my apartment and and get to work and so yeah so you can do two things at once when you work at SpaceX you can people say you can't you can people think I'm crazy well they just don't get it when I talk to them about it not not like the the content of the startup which i usually don't talk about um just because we're talking about work stuff and whatnot and no one really asks but the when when asked about it the idea of working more <laughs> it doesn't really make sense to most people there um it's also interesting the the kind of difference between working at spacex and being in university. So when I was in university, there was kind of this like intellectual banter between me and my friends. We would, um, there would be actually a surprising amount of downtime, which it didn't feel like at the time, <laughs> but surprising amount of downtime. And, um, and yeah, so, you know, at meals, at um, just, you know, late at night, just randomly throughout the day, you'd, you'd kind of have these discussions and you'd be able to talk about your curiosities with them, at least my friend group, and which, which was great, which was great. Um, at SpaceX, it's mostly talking about work and it's mostly talking about the, the, the kind of like the mission, I'll say, and what needs to get done, the deadlines and everything, which is in its own way, very exciting. Um, but it's quite different from what I was used to and kind of what I expected. There's maybe a handful of people, probably less, like two or three, realistically one or two actually, um, where I can really have like a an intellectual conversation about I don't know, like most anything about kind of like the nature of SpaceX the, um, I don't know, it's quite interesting. It's becoming, it's becoming larger, SpaceX. It's a whole side conversation. But yeah, so, so the, um, so the people are the most, like, driven and intelligent people that I've, I've met. Intelligence being a requisite. Everyone's intelligent. And then these are just insanely driven people. So they can work for, I have friends that work 14 hour days. Every other week they work 14 hours on Saturday and then they go and uh, see their significant other in LA every other weekend, which is like, that's a, that's, that's a lot. Um, so it's quite interesting. But yeah, I have like a minute left for my 10 minute mark. Talking to a camera for 10 minutes. <laughs> yeah, hopefully I'll look back on this in like a year and reflect. But yeah, there is, um, I think there is like, for people, so SpaceX, this is also an interesting concept. SpaceX is largely at this point, at least the Starship program, even though they're doing novel things, it is largely a one-to-end company. They're optimizing and, and there's a lot of optimization to be done. This is no small task and this is extremely impressive, but it's not a zero to one company. Um, there, are, there are very few zero to one companies, true zero to one companies, but, um, but yeah, it's quite interesting. So I thought there would be more zero to one, they're not. And so I think, I think by and large, there's kind of like an intellectual loneliness that I experience where I'm not, um, I'm not really learning new things, at least 
like I'm, I'm learning organizational new things, but I'm not learning like, like for instance, uh, a, a friend of mine and I talked about um, like choke flow and the back propagation of the pressure waves and how choke flow and compressible fluids is always the speed of sound. And it's quite, quite interesting. I was like, why, you know, why is this? Deep dive into that, really fun. It's really cool. I don't get a lot of that actually. A lot of it is um, optimization. And so I think and my startup is very zero to one, extremely zero to one. Um, of my, the people that are on my team with the startup are not located here. So it's, it's quite, I don't know, it's quite interesting. It's not, um, it's very fast paced and you get a lot of stuff done and you learn how to get a lot of stuff done. You're forced to learn. You're forced to understand um, what you're capable of, which is an amazing thing to discover. And I haven't even discovered the depth of it yet. But, um, but yeah, I think that was contrary to my belief, my prior belief that uh, SpaceX was largely zero to one, and it's really one to n, which is cool. I think that's necessary for companies in the world, but um, be warned. All right.